Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Lydia with Raindrop Lila and today I am participating in a collaboration with Francesca with Junk Journal Joy and basically she's hosting an event on YouTube where different makers in the Junk Journal community are showing how to use up your scraps and how to journal for self-care and today I'm going to show you guys how I decided to use some scraps. It is it's the fall season which I love and I decided to use a craft idea that I had that I actually made with my kids when they were little. So basically for Thanksgiving I decided to make like this tree out of um, either craft paper or paper bag but mine, the one I made for my kids was like maybe two and a half feet tall so I made it for our wall in our hallway and what I did was I scrunched up the paper bag like this and it went up into different little branches and then I had leaves that I cut out obviously this is a really small version of it but basically I made big leaves like this. What we did that year is we would write on them what we were thankful for and then we um, taped them to the tree. So that's what I did one year with my kids and I decided that would be a really fun uh, journal page to do in my journal um, because I don't have as much wall space in the home that we have now. So basically I have these printables that I made and I'm going to actually uh, offer these for free so they're gonna be I'll put a link below um, where I'm gonna share them I guess I can either I'll put them in my group if you're in my Facebook group you can grab them from there and I will also put them on YouTube in the I think like announcement section so if you look at the tabs at the top um, I'll put them in there and so if you click on it you should be able to save it if not look in the description below and I will give details where these will be at but anyway so you can grab a you can grab this to use if you'd like so what you can do is you can color these but I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to use them basically with scraps right so what I did, what I already did, was I grabbed some of my paper scraps and um, this is actually has adhesive on the back. So anyways, so these are my scraps and I cut these out, not perfect, because I wanted uh, to do like kind of a quick job and I stapled them on here to make it easier to cut out. Now, if you want to just use a big piece of paper, like a colorful piece of paper, scrap of paper or something, you can just print this on the back of it and then just cut them out. That makes it easy. When I did these, I actually grabbed, I kind of, I grabbed, um, I grabbed these, right? And I was going to say, and I cut like one strip. So each strip is just a little bit bigger so this one's pretty small and it's pretty detailed work on these ones right but I wanted to go that small so they fit in my journal so these little ones right here are the smallest ones and then these are a little bit bigger so I use some of the bigger ones too right so I'll show you guys how to do them so I have some scrapbook paper here these are just some scraps from, from my uh, scrapbooking paper and then this is just a scrap from my printable so what I can do is just layer them I'm going to show you guys how I do them because it just kind of makes it simpler for me um, and then I will layer something on top now you're going to want to make sure that they're all lined up and then I would just staple it right there Okay, so that it holds it together and this way I'm actually cutting through three pieces at once okay so I'm going to staple this right here this just makes it easier for me oops I'm gonna staple it so that will hold it together and help me when I I'm doing my cuts and then I'm gonna look here and see what else would fit right in there 
Maybe I'll do this little one, okay? So this way, these pieces of paper are fairly thin and so cutting through like a couple for me is easier. If it feels like it's not working for you, just do one at a time. But um, for me, it's I kind of got used to it and I don't mind it so much, okay? So that holds it together and I cut this part off la uh, last, the part that's held by the um, stapler. And let's make sure that it's focused. You gotta, re um, one thing to remember is when you go in here and cut, you don't have to be perfect um, because my aim is for the ones underneath. I don't know if that makes sense. And you don't have the line, so it's not gonna matter. Now you can also use the top part with the white if you wanted to. And you can just color these ones in, okay? So I'm just gonna fussy cut this. And honestly, a lot of times I'll do this while I'm doing something else. Either I'm doing this while I'm listening to my kids uh, reading to me like they do their practice reading, or um, while I'm watching something, or sometimes I'll just play a, a, an audio book or something, or a podcast and listen to it, because that kind of helps me. Um, I like multitasking, I guess, So and um, it doesn't feel as boring, if that makes sense, when you have your mind occupied while you're doing this um, like this detailed work. Okay. Okay, so there they are. How cute are they? And don't be afraid to use printed patterns because I think they're really cute too. And especially once you ink up the edges, they'll look a lot better. I'll show you some that I've already done. Okay. Let's do this one too. Okay. Now, if you don't want to do the really fussy, the really intricate ones, okay, I started there, but I don't want to cut the staple or the staple off, so I'm gonna just go on this side now. Okay, and these are really cute. You can use them to make a little tree like I did. Just like a really cute visual for the fall. But you can also um, write what you're thankful for on them. That's kind of my, my e initial idea. Um, is to write down like things we're thankful for. Okay. So I got those done. And then I have these, which is basically cardstock. Cardstock, I do one or two at a time. This one is just one, okay? So it's fairly thick because it has a sticker backing on there. So um, I'm okay with that. And these are really pretty because um, it's actually textured paper. How pretty is that? I love it. Okay, I'm going to do the rest of these. So now I'm going to actually ink um, the edges of these. And honestly, if you wrinkle them up a bit and add a little bit, that's also really good. I think it'll just give it more um, depth. And just be really careful with the stems because the stems tend to be small or thinner. Okay, and so basically you can make a bunch of leaves with your scraps and I think they're so pretty um, to use as basically embellishments. You can use them as embellishments in your journal 
and I think they're really pretty. I do this with um, cardstock. Um, book print is really good. All those book pages that you have is great. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm kind of folding it down the middle. You don't have to do that, but to create kind of those vines. I didn't do this on all of them, but I figured I'd try it on this and it gives you just a little bit more dimension. Okay, see that? Okay. So basically, I'm just gonna go around and I'm just gonna ink those edges. And um, so yeah, I think they're great if you if you feel like they're too small to write on. I know I have like a fine line art pen that I could use to write pretty small on these. But if you feel like they're too small, you can always um, just print something out like I did here. See that? I just used a little uh, label that I had. But you can just print something out pretty small and then just layer it. I mean that that's a pretty small, it's not that big, the leaf. And see how I layered? I layered two leaves. I used the book print one underneath and then the pattern one on top. And then I have like this little label. You can just layer it on a journal page like that. I think that's so cute. Or, you know, it could go just anywhere. That looks good right there too, actually. Let's see. See, isn't that pretty? Okay, so that's just an idea. Um, I'm going to show you guys these ones. I think they're so cute. And just, you know, you just add layers and layers. And so they're kind of like the perfect little embellishment. I made this tag. Oh, I put one on the back too. So one tip, I mean... You can try all kinds of different papers, but one tip that I noticed is that um, the leaves look better if the print is small or smaller, if that makes sense. So even though like I don't think these are bad, and I think this will be kind of a fun leaf. It's so bright and colorful to use on a page. And especially if you, um, if you're going to layer something on top, like a word or a title, I think it's great to have like some kind of like either a darker leaf or something with, um, or maybe even brighter. So you have that contrast and so that your word kind of stands out. See how that stands out? Kind of like that. Okay, so there's this one. And so I think that they're really, really cute. I did some book page ones too. And you saw that one here, how I used it. I think it's so cute and they're so simple and so easy to make. And technically you can even do this with fabric um, and paper. And um, this could just be a starting point where you just make leaves and then you can use them as embellishments. Okay, so here is how they are looking now. And you can see some of them are a little bit wrinkled and I love that. I think that that adds to their look when they're just a little bit wrinkled up. And it also feels a little bit less intimidating to work with them when they're just a little bit wrinkled up plus they look like real leaves when they're wrinkled up like that. See? See that? Okay, and how pretty are they? I think they're so cute. Okay, now we're going to move on. And then I'm going to show you guys how I actually made this tree. How I made the trunk from a paper bag. Okay, so I have these paper bags here. And that's what I'm going to use. For the tree trunk and this is actually a little bit lighter weight than um, 
the craft paper I used on this tree and so if you use like a little paper sack it's gonna be easier I think to work with than the original one okay and let's see I'm kind of cutting or tearing I'm kind of trying to tear a little bit of like a tree type of shape and doesn't have to be perfect and I'm making almost like three little sections at the top for the tree um, branches okay I'm gonna start at the bottom and what I'm doing is I'm just going to kind of fold it up, kind of crinkle it up. And that's going to give you kind of texture like that a real tree has. And I'm just folding these pieces up. Okay. I'm actually going to add some ink to it. Okay, now I gotta shape it on the page. And I'm starting with the trunk and I am going to see how I can just kind of shape it, like scrunch it up. Do the same with the branches. Okay. Okay, so that kind of creates the base of the tree. And now all you have to do is decorate it with the leaves and you can kind of use colorful ones. Let's see, I'm gonna see what I wanna use. I feel like these are a little bit big. I think these small ones work best. See how much better that looks? I think that the little ones, the bigger ones might be cute um, as like a burst around it. But I like the smaller ones on top here for their scale, if that makes sense. Okay, so I just cut up a bunch of these tiny little leaves because I used most of them up in this uh, journal, the small ones, and then I wanted to make bigger ones so that um, 
I have bigger size ones to use. And so then I thought, okay, um, I'm just gonna make some more of them. And how cute are they? I love them so much. And so you just decorate the tree. You can decorate all around on the ground. I'm thinking, I'm kind of wanting to write on these. So I'm gonna go get a fine liner and I'm gonna write all my, um, write on them all the things that I'm thankful for. And I wanna see if I can use them. They feel a little bit small, but I want to do it. So I'm gonna go grab a pen. Okay, so I didn't think I could actually write on these uh, tiny leaves because they were so small, but I was able to use a micron pen um, and it worked out. I was able to actually write the things that I am thankful for. So each one is special to me, like certain things, um, like heating. I truly appreciate heating especially in the winter time especially after we had that we had a snowstorm here in texas and um, our heater upstairs no longer worked and so um, we were able to just move downstairs and use the heater down there but i know a lot of people uh, went through a really hard time with no electricity so um, that definitely is like really like it makes you think about it you know, and so um, I also added some things here that are just like important to me or things that are my favorite things. Obviously plumbing is not my favorite thing, but when your plumbing is not working, it's not so fun. So um, I do appreciate having plumbing and not having issues with that. And then like sunsets, my family always loves to watch sunsets and that is like a very special time. Okay, so now I'm just going to kind of glue these down. Um, and what I did was I just grabbed a piece of paper and I folded it in half. And I kind of redid this project, but this time here um, I wrote on it. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this one because I wrote on them. But maybe I'll just add it to another page in my journal. Because my journal's pretty thick and... I just barely started working in it. I've been so busy. Okay. And so I just want to kind of glue these down everywhere. This is Joshua, my son. I'm so thankful for him. He's so special. I'm sure every parent says that about their kid, but that's how it should be, <laughs> I think. And then this is... My husband, Rafa. I think I'm gonna put my family here. And Samantha, my daughter Samantha is gonna go here. Wait, that's yeah, upside down. Right <gasps> Samantha. Okay, so there. I put that one there. I'm gonna put some blank ones in too because there's always room for more. Um, things that we are thankful for. I mean, you can just go on and on and on. So, I love this. I really love this project. I think it's really fun and I think it's really meaningful. And I also think that, um, I don't know, it's just like a nice wholesome craft. I love to do it with my kids. Actually, I did it more when they were younger. But um, we'll see. Maybe I'll do something similar with them this year. I have coffee. I actually haven't had coffee. I've been kind of keeping away from... I have took a break from coffee for a little bit, but I do love it. And then here's heating. Oh my gosh, there's so many things that I think that we don't realize how we're, how, how, um, we're really blessed until um, you have to go without. And, or when you hear other people's stories, then you're like, oh my gosh. Okay, this one's food, but I'm trying to, I'm going to put it down here. So, um, 
community. I am so thankful for our community on Instagram and on YouTube. There's so many talented people and it's really wonderful being able to get to know people online. I think that's so great. Okay, and this one's Sunset. Let's see. Maybe I'll just go like that. I think it's so cute. I love it. I think I think I wrote most of mine going this way. I don't know if that makes sense. And so then when I go to put it down, I feel like, okay, that one's fine. They all go this way and I don't want to put them upside down. It's okay, I'll figure it out. So you're going to want to, when you write yours, make sure you have them both ways so that you can kind of um, use both sides, if that makes sense. And I am really thankful for all uh, the creative outlets that, um, that I actually have and, you know, I can create, I love to make digitals and I love to create journals and pretty pages and this one's for pretty papers. These are just like some of the things that off the top of my head that came to mind. Okay. Books. I love books. Where should I put this one? And I think it's really important to just kind of think about um, the things that you enjoy and just appreciate them. I think that that's really, really important. Okay, and let's see. Okay. It's so cute. I love it. I think this is a great one to do with kids too. Okay, so this one says fall. So I was able to write pretty small. If you look at it, I mean the scale of these leaves are super tiny. So I think that um, the micron pen, it's 01. I think it did a really good job. Okay, and then here's another one. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put that in my journal. I'll decide later where it goes, but I want to show you guys these ones just once more so you guys can see how you can use the leaves. This leaf was made, or both of these were made with scrapbook paper, but you can use anything. You can use any scraps to make your leaves, any leftovers, and then you can use them to embellish, and I think they're so cute. So I use a book page for this one. So that's like all of us junk journalers have tons of book pages, right? Well, you can also make a garland. Let me show you guys. I kind of started to show you guys earlier. I made this one year and I saved it because I thought it was so cute. I made this with my kids. And we just drew out these little um, acorns and then the leaves. And we cut them out and we made a garland out of it. And I think it's so cute. We kind of hung it up so, like in our family room. And so we basically use book pages, but we use some um, colored pencils, watercolored pencils. Wait, watercolor watercolor pencils I think they're called <laughs> oh my goodness so I think they're so cute okay so we made these one year and then I got to show you guys another one that we made and these would be cute like for a craft room too or even for journals like if you make them this big let me go back to this one how cute is this if you make it this big 
you can actually do you know do this idea where you type up what you're thankful for and just cut it out and just glue it on top of there like that see that would be really cute and then this could be a huge um, kind of like a huge embellishment on a page look how cute that looks okay just pretend that's that's not there right but that would be really cute. I love these leaves, or even the acorns. We kind of just uh, hand drew them. Okay. And then I also did that with cardstock. And we made this little garland. Let's see if I can show you guys. And I think it's so cute. And we used, we used gold on the edges. See that we edged it with gold, like gold paint. And I think they're so cute. And we just hung these up. And this is just some cardstock that I used. So we got all the different shapes. I think they came out so cute. This is kind of a cute little decor idea for like a craft room. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please go check out Francesca's account with Junk Journal Joy. She has really great videos up on her YouTube account. Oh, and check out the description box below because I'm going to link everybody that's part of this collaboration. And you can go and watch everybody and see their take on this collaboration on how to use the scraps in your journals okay thanks so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it please hit the like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed so you don't miss any of my future content thank you so much bye bye